Okay, we're going to be learning about the factor tree, and this will help you with a lot of math uh, problems you'll be dealing with. Let's see here, we'll go ahead and get started here. The so factor tree is basically taking the number that you're dealing with and making branches so that uh, come out uh, to the multiplication problems that it equals to going down to the prime number so we'll start with this four here we'll go ahead and make two branches because we need two numbers and we can do two times two we went all the way down to the prime number and two times two does equal four so it's finding the numbers that make this number happen Here's another example. We have eight here. We'll go ahead and draw our branches. And when I come up with a multiplication um, combination that equals to eight, either any kind you choose, either number you choose, it does not matter as long as it equals eight. So we go two times four here. Oops. And two is a prime number, so we can't do anything further with that, but we can break the four down, so we'll draw another branch here. And what can we come up with to equal 4? And that will be 2 times 2. We have come down all the way down to our prime number, so we can't go any further. That's breaking this number down as far as it would go using your multiplication factors here. Okay, here's another one. If you want to pause the video and give it a go for yourself, all we're going to do is break it down. Okay, we're going to start with 20, and let's pick two numbers. So how about 2 times 10? 2 is down to its prime number. We can't really break that down. You go 1 times 2, but we don't need to do that. We know that's the further it, was, it will go. It's, you know, 1 times 2. But we can break down to 10, and so we will. And we're going to use 2 times 5. You cannot break down the 2 or the 5 any further. So you have factored this 20 down as far as it would go. Here's a little bit bigger number. If you want to pause the video, go ahead. I'm going to start off with 9 times 5 here. I usually put my smaller number over here, but I'm going to show you it can go either way. And we, we can't break the 5 down. It's down to the smallest. It is a odd. So we can the 9, uh, let's see, 3, my pen won't write, times 3. We have broken it down all the way down to its prime factors. So it's really not hard, it's just a matter of practice. But you're going to need this as you go on in math to do your quadratic equations, your cube roots, your square roots. Okay, here's uh, even bigger numbers. Gives you more practice at breaking down the branches. If you want to pause the video, go ahead and I'll do it with you. We're going to do 6 times 9 here, and that equals 54. But with these two numbers, we can break down further, so we can put branches on both of them. 6, we can go 2 times 3, and we found its prime. And 3 times 3. And we found its prime. We broke 54 down, factored it all the way down to their primes. Here's an even bigger number. Now, we could cheat and, and do something where you can uh, not have to branch it out as much, but that won't give you the practice. So we're not going to do it. We're going to do 4 times 25 here. And we can break both of these numbers down. 2 times 2, we got down to the prime there. And 25 be 5 times 5. And we've gone as far as we can there. Now I just want to show you something of how this is going to become useful. And I've already done this for you. When you're working with square roots or cube roots, you're going to be looking in order to pull that number out of its brackets 
and you may not understand it but at least give you an introduction to why you're going to do this later on when you do when you see the four inside the radical you can break it down and find the pairs as we did here and then you can pull that out and that's where factors is going to come in handy for you is when you get to your cube roots your your uh, quadratics and things like that I hope this video is helpful I plan on uh, uploading a few more videos that has to do with factoring but it'll be more on your cube roots and things like that please like or subscribe and I want to say thanks for watching